can't. I, I, I just can't. Hey, what's up you guys? Film fan 0599 here again. And today we're going to review Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Long Haul. Yeah, you you probably forgot this came out, right? Yeah, yeah, you probably forgot that this came out because literally everyone did. Literally, everyone forgot this came out. This was a movie that came out this year. I don't blame you if you forgot that this came out. I do not blame you in the slightest. So, Long Haul Stars, Jason D Durker, Dunker, I don't know, Alicia Silverstone, Tom Everett Scott, and Charlie Wright. And what this film is basically about, it's about the Heffley family. They're going on a road trip to go to Mima's 90th birthday and crazy shenanigans and stew and everything else and blah 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 this movie sucks this movie okay listen I don't hate the original three movies I really don't they're just disposable family movies that's the best way I can put the first three movies but when they announced this one, I'm just like, what is the purpose of making this one? Like, literally, it's a whole different cast. Literally, the cast is completely different. And it's not even connected to the first three at all. So what's the point of making another one of these? Nobody wanted it, so what's the point? It can't be money because this thing bombed completely. Yeah, and what we got out of it was a terrible movie. A really, really, really terrible movie. This is bomb of the barrel gutter garbage. This is really bad. Like, this movie is beyond awful. I wasn't looking forward to this movie, but this movie exceeded my expectations in awfulness. Oh my! Literally, this is so bad. It's so bad. It is awful beyond belief, this movie. So I might as well just jump straight into the negatives, because there's no positives with this movie whatsoever. <laughs> Are you crazy? There's no positives whatsoever with this film. Let's just get straight into the negatives because, oh boy, there's a lot. First, the acting. Dear God Almighty, is it awful. It is so bad. The acting is so awful in this movie. It, it, it's so bad, the, the acting. Jason Dunker, Dunker as, as a Greg, he does an awful job. He's annoying as hell. He's just really, really annoying. Really, like this is supposed to be our protagonist. And he's just awful. <clears throat> like, I, I didn't find him likable in the slightest. Because at least in the original three movies, at least Greg was likable. To me, at least. At least, um, Zachary, I forgot what his last name was, at least he did a good job as the character. Especially in Dog Days, I liked him a lot. But, in this one, he's just unlikable. He really is. He's just so, so unlikable. Even in the books, heck, even in the books, you know, I don't mean to be like that, but heck, even in the books, Greg is really likable. Yes, I've read the books, but... Greg is a, supposed to be a really likable and relatable character, but they don't even do that in this movie. Like, they don't at all. 
he's just unlikable. He's annoying and he's unlikable. It's the best way I can put it. Alicia Silverstone as the mother. I think I have my pick for Worst Supporting Actress of the Year. Wow! Was she... Basically, her character is someone who just despises technology, anything to do with technology, basically. Like phones, iPads, stuff like that. And she comes off so annoying and just so whiny about everything. And just this is a big, gigantic pain in the butt. That's exactly what she is. And she just would not shut up. And the fact that Alicia Silverstone is not even that good of an actress to me in the first place, really. She just acts so obnoxious in this movie. That's the, that's the perfect word for her character. Obnoxious. Because that's exactly what her character is in this movie. She's just so, so obnoxious. And the mother in the original three movies was actually quite funny, at least. You know, she had some funny moments to her. In this one, just she's annoying as hell. Like, I was just like, shut up already. Like, she is so awful in this film. Like I said, all she does is just whine and complain about technology. And just, that's all she does. And basically, this whole thing is her fault, basically. This whole, everything, mostly everything that happens in this movie is kind of her fault. Like, it really is. Um, Tom Everett Scott as the father, he's not good either. He doesn't do a good job as well. He, he just... Uh, Charlie, Charlie Ro Wright as Roderick, what the heck. Like, he just, he's, he's like a downgraded version of Keanu Reeves, basically. Honestly, he really is. He's just annoying as hell. He just... He's so, so whiny. His acting couldn't be more awful. Like, seriously, he is n not good in this movie. Like, at all. Just the acting in this film is so atrocious. Like, it's so bad. Like, it really is. The acting... Uh, uh, school plays are better, have better acting than this. It's really bad. The comedy in this movie is nothing more than your typical PG family comedy. That's all it is. And it's just a bunch of poof jokes, fart jokes, you know, etc. And it's not funny. It, it's really, really not funny at all. Like, seriously, I, left, I, I was just not laughing at all during this movie. Not once did I laugh. The comedy is just terrible. And not to mention, okay, there are tons, there are tons and tons of plot holes in this movie. Tons of them. Like, because my good buddy Caden, he wanted to, he didn't want me to suffer alone with this movie, so he watched it with me. And we were just counting out, he was counting out, like, almost all the plot holes. I was like, you're so right on that. Like, it was just like, we were just counting out all the plot holes in this movie because there are so many like there really is like there's so many plot holes in this film that you're just like wait a minute wait a minute how did how how would this happen how would that happen like there's so many plot holes in this movie oh not to mention this probably has the one of the worst running jokes i've ever seen in the movie like, seriously, the running joke in this film is quite terrible. Because it just... It's just, it's so typical. It's such a typical running joke. Like, it, the running joke in this movie is so bad. And it just was like, stop. Stop with this god-awful running joke. And this movie is really stupid. Logic is nowhere near to be in this movie. This movie is just beyond stupid. Like, seriously, it's beyond stupid, this movie. It, it really is. Like, it makes no logical sense, this film, whatsoever. Like, 
I'll just say this. They go to a carnival, right? And they're in the middle of the ride. Like, the ride is in the middle of, you know, working and stuff. And someone jumps onto the ride right into the middle of it. Wait a minute. How the hell is that supposed to happen? Like, once the ride is, you know, going, no one else can get on. That makes no sense at all. Especially they were at the, at the ride that they were on. Like, how was it even possible? Like I said, logic is just out the window for this movie. There's no logic whatsoever in this film. None at all. And... Oh, my... What? Oh, and this movie has the, one of the worst scenes of the year. This is like my second worst scene of the year. I won't really spoil it. I know some people are thinking, oh, it involves video games, right? No, it's not that one. Th that's bad, but it's not that one. I'll just say this. They they recreate a famous scene from a really famous movie. That's all I will say. That by far was the worst scene in the movie, and it's one of the worst scenes I've seen all year. Oh my lord, I cannot believe th they did that. Like, I'm dead serious. I cannot believe they did that. The writing is terrible, it's awfully written, all the dialogue is just terrible, it really is, it's so badly written, this movie. The directing is terrible as well. This movie is not well shot, not well edited at all, the editing is actually quite sloppy at times, it really is. And the cinematography isn't even that good either. So yeah, it's horribly directed, this movie. Very, very horribly directed. And this movie... This movie's an hour and 31 minutes, and it was so <gasps> boring! Jesus almighty was this boring! It wouldn't end. It's only an hour and 31 minutes, and it felt like three hours. It would not end. Like, seriously, it would not end this movie. It wouldn't. At all. It moved at such a slow pace, this film, that it was just like, it just wouldn't stop. Oh my goodness. It just moved at such a boring pace, this movie. Such a boring pace. It really did. Overall, Dive and Wimpy Kid the Long Haul, why the hell was this even made? Like, seriously, no one asked for this. No one wanted this, okay? And you can't say it, it's for money, because this thing bombed horribly. It's awful, this movie. It is by far, like, seriously, I think I have my top two movies locked down for this year. I honestly don't think there's going to be a movie that beats either one of these two for the top two. Because, yeah. This movie is that bad to me. So it's time, you know, F. Y you know, F, 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 uh, You know, come on. This is an F. This is a big old giant F. Like, wow. This movie is beyond stupid, and I can't believe it was made. Like, I cannot believe this movie was made. It's so awful, this movie. It really is. It truly is awful. And it definitely deserves a big old giant F. So, if you've seen Diary of Wimpy Kid, The Long Haul, what did you think about it? Y you probably did see it because, like I said, everyone forgot this movie. Everyone did. But, just in case if you did, what did you think of it? Leave it in the comments section below. And I'm FilmFan0599. See you all later. Peace.